I'm Mike with Hudson Forest Equipment, and uh, we decided to uh, come out here and check on one of our, our good customers, Nathan Waterfield. He's got a few different Uniforce pieces, and it's always good to uh, check with your customers on a, on a local basis and see how we're meeting their needs. What we did here with this setup is we took the uh, 1800 Uniforce Grapple with the uh, 465 rotator system and set it up on an excavator uh, boom end. A lot of times with the excavators, the claw on the thumb is awkward using logs, so if you're primarily using it to uh, um, land your logs, the, the, the Uniforce setup is a, a very nice addition. And so last winter, we used the 1800 on the Kubota track skid steer. And yep, it was with good the scorpion grab. with the scorpion grab, which is an awesome setup. But what we had trouble with is that we could only pile up about 12 to 16 feet high because of the machine. And then you're also having to track back and forth all the time with the machine. So we decided to go with the grapple on the excavator. And what that's done for us is he can swing in so much, you know, with so much motion, a log landing is a must. We, you know, until we had the 1800, we used the thumb and the bucket for a little while, and it just, it was not efficient. It was a lot of moving back and forth. You couldn't sort the logs very well. It was hard to organize. And, you know, the way the markets are with wood now, having the ability to sort the wood out for different buyers, um, you know, different markets, different purposes, it it really helps us to be able to get, you know, the most we can for the logs. competition's so great you need to be efficient so having uh, additions like this is a, a great help absolutely and the other thing too is that you know more and more we're having issues with trucking you know trying to get trucks on these landings to move wood for us is harder and harder and so what happens is you end up with piles of wood on the landing you can see after two days of cutting the, the landing is full, and this is a beautiful landing. Yeah. You know, we've got all kinds of room on this landing, and, and that's pretty fortunate. There's a lot of jobs where we're not so fortunate to have this much room. But even here, without the grapple on the job, you know, we're, we're out of room. What do we do? Yeah, so now you can sort it, process it, stack it higher than you could with the... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. We could, this, with this setup, we can we can stack amazingly high, pretty much as high as any log you know picker can reach. Another thing that's that could be a real critical. Um, Kind of a, a really beneficial addition to cutting the logs up like this is when you get into some really high quality wood, veneer logs and that sort of thing, he can hold the log in place and keep them from pivoting down and potentially cracking and degrading the value of the log. So having the grapple, again, for that purpose, you know, it's, it's an improvement on just be, you know, bucking the logs up behind the skidder or something like that. 